The Project Japan. Paperless and cashless. The digital infrastructure underpinning our lives today is seeing a massive transformation in countries throughout the world. Amid this, one nation is drawing particular attention India, with its population of 1.3 billion people. A digital platform called India Stack has been established to provide high quality public services such as authorization and payments based on personal verification. This infrastructure is also being utilized to nurture numerous startup companies, helping to raise the international competitiveness of domestic businesses. In Japan, too, exchanges with India in the field of digital talent have been deepening, with a growing number of companies expanding their global footprint. Japan is entering a period of digital transformation on a vast scale. By enlisting the software expertise of India, what kind of digital revolution is being sparked in Japan? There is growing momentum to use digital technology to bolster the productivity of Japanese companies. According to a digital competitiveness ranking compiled in 2021, the U.S. has held the number one spot globally for three consecutive years. In Asia, Hong Kong, Singapore and Taiwan remain top players. But Japan has seen its relative position weaken in recent years and came in at 28th among 63 countries and regions in 2021. A closer look by Factor shows a particularly sharp decline in the ranking for human resources, a noticeable drop even compared to other factors. In 2018, the Japanese government signed the India-Japan Digital Partnership with India. The aim is to merge India's strength in software and Japan's strength in hardware to deepen the bilateral economic relationship. India is ranked second in the world by the number of IT talent. By aggressively deploying digital technologies, the country has continued to achieve economic growth of around 7% annually for the past decade. At the base of that digital economy is what's called India Stack. Digital infrastructure. It's based on Aadhaar, a national identification system for India's 1.3 billion people. India Stack is comprised of four layers, a presenceless layer to digitally identify individuals, a paperless layer that allows records and information to be digitally stored and used, a cashless layer for prompt online payments, and a consent layer for secure data usage. Through it, even citizens without identification cards can securely receive financial subsidies and make cashless payments. India Stack provides authentication for anyone, anywhere, and at any time. One of the technologies used to ensure its security is a biometric system from Japan. We spoke to a manager at the company that developed the system. India doesn't have a family register system like Japan and it was very difficult to verify the identity of an individual. You'd need a scale that can support 1.4 billion people, wouldn't you? So even if you have a very large-scale database, it's extremely difficult to provide verification with unfailing precision and at rapid speed. Facial recognition is a technology that can verify an individual, as are fingerprint and iris readers. We believe we could solve this problem by properly incorporating biometrics. We have data showing the number of times individuals have been verified. And it's a huge number. 63.6 billion times. How is India Stack being leveraged to drive businesses in India? We spoke with Noriyoshi Fukuoka, director of METI's Southwest Asia office, and Mayank Joshi, deputy chief of the mission at the Embassy of India in Japan. As you know, 
India Stack is the name used to describe a collection of different technology products and frameworks that combine digital payments with data and authentication of identity through the unique ID Aadhaar card at the scale of the whole population. It enables government, businesses, startups, developers, and even banks to utilize a unique set of digital infrastructure. It provides secure and trusted interface for various existing platforms to operate together. India Stack is well known in Japan among digital experts, but there are still many people who don't know about it. It is not a service that exists in Japan, so it's not surprising. However, METI has been promoting the Asian digital transformation policy since the last year. And this policy is promoting the digital transformation of Japanese society by emulating the dynamic economic changes in Asian countries, including India. We also spoke with Ritesh Shukla of the National Payments Corporation of India about India Stack's Unified Payments Interface, or UPI. It is instant and is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So it ensures faster movement of funds. Uh, with our mobile first approach, uh, UPI has a simplified onboarding and a very rich user experience. Uh, the success of UPI platform has been uh, phenomenal in India. It has actually put India at the top of the world in terms of digital payment transactions. For example, in the year of 2021, we had 38 billion financial transactions on UPI. Uh, from its beginning in 2016, uh, UPI has seen uh, amazing growth and adoption, and it currently operates at great scale. What impact will these initiatives utilizing India Stack have on Japan-India relations going forward? In order to go digital, we have to tackle some difficulties, such as how to handle data sharing, data distribution, and data collaboration. India Stack has taken the lead and shown us the benefits of data collaboration. I believe that uh, the focus of future India-Japan relations will also shift to data handling. India Stack, enabled by the unique identification card system, has demonstrated its robustness, cybersecurity, and data storage capability with focus on adequate privacy. Learnings and technologies from India Stack have the potential of transforming the digital landscape in Japan, particularly in payment space where cash usage is still high. India and Japan have a special strategic and global partnership with strong collaboration on the digital front as an important pillar of our bilateral and plurilateral engagements. As Fukuoka-san has said, strengthening India and Japan relationship in the digital arena is significantly important for achieving economic development together. The success of the India Stack model has even spurred the development of MOSIP, a digital identification platform for third countries, by the International Institute of Information Technology, Bangalore. By utilizing the architecture released by MOSIP, countries where many citizens lack official means to authenticate their identity will be able to develop systems similar to India Stack. The Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, or METI, is also holding workshops to discuss the possibility of deploying such digital ID platforms in developing countries. I would like all the engineers who are responsible for digital transformation in Japan to see India and not to be confined to their domestic shells. When Japanese people think of the new world, they may think of GAFA or China's butt, but there are other new technologies, new values, and new ways to explore. In fields spanning finance, manufacturing, health, and public services, Japan and India, as strategic partners, are helping to drive the evolution of digital technologies and forge a new future. <laughs>